flips are similar to an eggnog except there's no use of cream. So in an eggnog you use cream, sugar, the spirit, and the whole egg. In a flip, it's just the spirit, sugar, and egg. So flips go back, way back to 1695. Uh, they were very popular in England among sailors. And the drink was consumed warm and it was made with some kind of ale or beer, brandy and sugar. And it really wasn't until that kind of made it over into the Atlantic and actually George Washington actually consumed flip. Flips was one of his favorite drinks. Uh, but by the time it came to America and came to George Washington, flips were actually consumed cold and the beer kind of went away and the ale went away and they started replacing whole eggs into the flip. So it really was just um, sugar, a whole egg, and a spirit. So what I want to show you today is a coffee chinar flip that I do. And uh, chinar is one of my favorite spirits. It's made from artichokes, it's an amaro, it's a digestive, but it is sweet already. That's why I love using it. It has low alcohol, it is sweet already, so I don't have to add sugar. So when it comes down to it, this is a two ingredient cocktail. And one of the ways that we're kind of kicking it up a notch is to infuse the chinar with coffee. So coffee and chinar is like a perfect marriage in heaven. The notes of both of those really work well together. So I'm going to show you um, how to do a very simple coffee infusion. Now what's different from a coffee chinar infusion or a coffee infusion in general is coffee is so much stronger of a flavor that you don't necessarily have to do my typical formula of, of taking it all the way up to three quarters of the way. We're going to go just half the way to that. Um, and if you don't know, you know, coffee is a seed. It's something that grows on a bush. Typically, the bushes get about 20 to 10 to 20 feet large. Um, they do grow in tropical areas, and it's when they're green, they're picked, and then they're roasted. And for me, I love coffee. I'm a coffee drinker. So for me, the darker, the richer, the better. I'm just using pure, dark, espresso coffee beans and I'm going to fill this up typically I think for this jar I'm going to try putting a cup to start or a little bit over a cup because I'm only going to really want to go halfway now the thing about this is the infusion actually kicks in pretty quickly after two days but I'm going to leave this and do the infusion my typical seven to ten days so that's perfect that's a little bit more than half but all you really need to do is go to the half and then let's take the chinar and we are going to fill it all the way to the top so I will take it all the way to the top there's plenty of beans in there oops sorry I think I'm just going to run out, but that's perfect. So again, I'll set that aside. We happen to have one that I've been using for a while. So I'm just going to show an easy way to strain this, right? So because you've got the coffee beans there, and I strain it as I go. This is what I like to do. Sometimes I'll strain it into a bottle and it will last for a long time. But I'll just take the jar and get a tea strainer here, which is you know similar. It's what we use to str double strain things. And I'll just pour that out. I only need a little bit for this cocktail. We're going to use the actual recipe is two and a half ounces of the spirit to one whole egg. And listen, you can discard those beans or sometimes I just pour them right back into it. So I'll put that to a side. And then we'll get a shaker. Now there are jiggers that are actually go all the way exactly to two and a half ounces, but I'm going to use, I got to use both sides of this. So we're going to do two and a half ounces. I'll do two on the top and then a half ounce on the bottom. Perfect. And then we're going to use the whole egg. So we're just going to take the egg just like you would do an eggnog. You know, a lot of the recipes call for using just the egg yolk. I like using the whole egg. I think it adds more creaminess to it. So we'll crack that in nicely. Just be careful that we don't get any shells in there. And let's put some ice in there. I'll grab some ice. Now, typically, when people use egg whites or eggs, sometimes they like to double shake it. You know, do a dry shake without ice and shake it again. I don't feel that it's necessary for the flip, but so I'm going to just do it, shake it pretty hard.
It's going to get nice and frothy. And you could double strain this, but I want all that cream and froth in there. So we'll get that. And right at the end, you'll see it's going to create that kind of, almost like a skooma we call in Italian, right? That we have on espressos and things like that. And then the perfect thing for this is to shave a little bit of dark chocolate on top. Doesn't matter what kind you use, it's whatever you like. And there you go, this is a coffee chinar flip. You can see uh, it really looks like a cafe au lait. That's really what it is, it's like a cafe au lait that's cold. Mm. Mm. It's so rich, all you're putting in is that egg and it, it just has a rich texture. You taste the coffee and then the chocolate comes through as well, which is another perfect marriage for that. Mm. So this is a digestive. This is something that is perfect after dinner. It, it's a lighter version of an eggnog and um, it, re it really is delicious. There you go, the coffee chinar flip.